Hi, my name is Dennis Hipkiss. Uh, thank you for joining me today to discover what is evidence. Uh, now, evidence uh, is, as we refer to it here, is specific to English essay writing. So, without further ado, we're going to jump straight in and let's get going on the question of the use of evidence in writing. So let's find out what is evidence. Okay, guys, what is evidence? Evidence is any true thing that illustrates or supports the point you are making. Evidence is a fact, not an opinion. So in other words, it's not something you can make up. It's something you've got to research and discover. Your readers must know your evidence is trustworthy and understand where you got it from and why they should believe it. The amount of evidence you use for every point or claim depends on how difficult it is to understand or believe. If it is hard, you may need several pieces of evidence. So, just to expand that a little, evidence is not something that you can come up with like that. You need to work at it. And this is where lots and lots of students, young 15, 16 year old students find it difficult. Okay, now let's go, before we move on to uh, look at examples of evidence, when I teach my students to write essays, this is one of the fundamentals. I teach them how to write on the, based on the C formula, that is, statement, evidence, explanation. So what is a statement? A statement is a key point that supports the idea you want to convince your reader of. Evidence. Evidence is any fact that supports your statement. Explanation, or as we term it, analysis, is your opinion on how the evidence supports your statement. Okay, so let's, let's move on. Let's show you some examples of evidence in essays. Let's have a look at example one. So, in this example, we've got an idea, and the idea is that people should quit smoking. Good point. Not many people are going to argue with that, but there could be some. So, let's, make, let's look at our statement. It is known that smoking is a direct cause of coronary heart disease and stroke. Let's have a look at the evidence that supports that. According to the Center for Disease Control, smoking cigarettes increases the risk of heart disease and stroke by two to four times, and the risk of lung cancer by 25 times. Okay, so that's a good piece of evidence. Look at where it's come from, the Center for Disease Control. A very credible source. It's giving us statistics so it's supporting our claim that people should indeed quit smoking but okay let's explain it because smoking has many health risks it is essential to protect yourself by not starting to smoke or by stopping smoking as soon as possible very good point and i would suggest that most people in fact the majority of people would find it very difficult to argue against that. Okay, let's have a look at another example. Example two. Here we go. Now, this is a, a much different uh, topic to uh, heart, uh, smoking subject. The idea here is that our school, this is a school, would benefit from 
investing in automatic motion sensing hand dryers in all the washrooms. Okay, so yeah, good idea. So let's see what that's all about. Okay, so the statement begins. If the school buys automatic hand dryers, we can save money that can be spent on more important things. Okay, boy, what's the evidence to support that? An automatic hand dryer costs approximately $500 with, with very little additional cost over time. On the other hand, paper towels can cost $25 a case or about $500 a year since we use about 20 cases each year in each washroom. So after just one year, it would pay for itself. Now, those are very good statistics. Very good indeed. So the explanation goes on. If we installed automatic hand dryers, we would not use and waste paper towels and would save the school a ton of money each year and for many years to come. Pretty good. So whoever is writing this uh, statement, whoever has given this argument, has supported it extremely well. Great logic, great research, and making it difficult for anyone to think, no, 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 we'll stick with hand towel. So, the use of evidence. Okay. So there you go. That is what evidence relates to in writing essays, particularly opinion essays, argumentative essays, but it can be used in many, many more types of essay. So, if you want to know more, about how I can help you develop your English writing skills, simply email email me yeah, at em2l at icloud.com or you can visit my website, englishmysecondlanguage.com. So thank you for tuning in. Thank you for listening. I hope that's been helpful. Uh, and I'm saying that. Uh, I hope I'll see you again. Bye.